Hello everybody, I want to show you guys something very interesting that I got at a book sale last year uh, at the Bolenbrook Library. Um, it was like a few months ago and this is one of the books I got. Um, it's called Indian Scout Talks by Eastman. And this is the side of it and this is the back of it. Um, and it was originally published in 1914, um, but it's a, this is a reprint of the book, uh, a 1924 version, so 10 years later. Um, what was really interesting, because I thought it was just a normal book, and I opened it up, it's in good condition. Um, it's called Indian Scout Talks. Uh, I want to give you a background about Charles Eastman. He was a born Native American who was born in Redwood, Minnesota in 1858. And he got involved with the starting of Boy Scouts of America. And I think uh, the Boys and Girls Club, I forgot the name of it though, but... He started writing books and stuff like that about his one book he wrote about his life as a when he grew up as a child and an Indian tribe. Um, this one I think is pretty interesting. I know a little bit about him. Uh, this is actually signed by him when I actually got it. It says right on this says to my friend the scout. For seeing diaries in the woods. George Kalaska. The author Charles A. Eastman. O. Eastman Minuus. Or whatever. Um, this is a picture of him right here. Um, right there. As you can see. And um, here is the title page. It says 1924 though. But it was originally published in 1914. And this is what it says. Uh, These chapters represent the actual exp experiences, first-hand knowledge of the author. His training was along these lines until his near, nearly 60 years of age. It is with the earnest hope that they may prov prove useful to all uh, who venture into wilderness in pursuit of, of wisdom, health, and pleasure that they are dedicated to. Boy Scouts of America and the Campfire Girls of America. That was their club that he was involved with. Acknowledgement. The author acknowledges the courtesy of the boy's life, the boy's world, the church man, the, the youth's companion, and St. Nicholas in permitting the use of chapters of this book, which appear in the, these pages. So, um... Yeah, this is the table of contents. Okay, I'm not going to read this. I'm just going to go through it. I'm not going to read it, so. So anytime you want to stop, you can wa re wa read this book. It's got a lot of pages, so be, be aware of that as I'm going through this. I'm not going to read it, so I'm just going to go through each page as I go. Um, I don't know how many pages are in this book, but taking my time. Anytime you want to stop and read it.
this is the last page of the book. There, it's the that's the end of it. Um, really good condition. It's over nine years old. Um, stuff, and it just comes off of it. Um, as you can see. This is what it would look like without the cover on it. This is what it would look like without the cover on this book. Um, might be better without the cover, but this is with the cover and really it's not in the best condition though. I mean, anyway, Charles Eastman, like I said, he lived till he was 81 years old, died in 1939. Um, he had a wife, they did books too, started back in the early 1900s and stuff, um, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video about what you guys learned about Charles Eastman and, and what he's done, and he also met President uh, Theodore Roosevelt when he was alive, and our, some of our famous people. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night, have a great day, alright, bye.